Last week, Rocket Lab reported their Q2 earnings, and with that, they provided some guidance for the upcoming quarter, Q3. But what if I told you that they didn't just provide guidance for the upcoming quarter, but the upcoming four quarters? Check this out. If we hop over to Rocket Lab's 10Q, we can see that their backlog as of June 30th was 534 million. 57% of that backlog is expected to be recognized over the next 12 months. So what we can do with those numbers is you can do a bit of reverse engineering to get a better idea of what launch revenue will look like and what space systems revenue will look like. So we have 534 million as of June 30th, 57% of which is expected to be recognized over the 12 month period. So 57% of 535 million is approximately 305 million. So as of the Q2 call, we have 15 launches guided for the full year of 2023. In the first half, we've already seen six of those launches. In Q3, we've already seen one with another three expected, total of four. That leaves us with five launches for Q4. Also mentioned on the call was that there are 20 launches planned for the full year of 2024. What we'll do with that is we'll expect that nine of those launches are in the first half of the year, in the period that we're looking at, and then the other 11 will be pushed into the second half of the year. So what we'll do is we'll combine all the launches that are within this backlog period that we're looking at, and we'll see that the number is 18 launches over the 12 month period. If we now multiply those 18 launches by the average selling price of the Electron of $7.5 million, we're going to reach $135 million of launch revenue. Now to find space systems revenue for this backlog period, we'd need to just simply take the total revenue, $305 million, subtract the launch revenue, $135 million, and that lands us at space systems revenue of 170 million over the period. So let's finish this out by comparing the last 12 month period to what we're expecting to be the upcoming 12 month period. So we'll take launch revenue first, the previous 12 month is the 77 million, and then the upcoming 12 month is the 135 million. We'll do the same thing for space systems revenue and then total. So what we can expect comparing last 12 month period to the upcoming 12 month period that we're looking at, we're, we can see 75% growth rate. We do the same thing for a space systems revenue. We're going from 155 to 170 million. We'll call it 10%. The overall uh, revenue growth rate is 232 million to 305, which puts us at, we'll call it 31% revenue. So one important thing to keep in mind is that the numbers that we're looking at, this is as of June 30th. This is basically the, the baseline of what to expect for the upcoming year. And I mean, if 30% if growth is the baseline, cool. That all being said, um, thank you guys for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And um, yeah, cool. Enjoy the rest of your day.